God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Go ahead, press tag and share. I just want to get on here right quick and just kind of like actually just tell you what thus saith the Lord. I pray that you are having a blessed night. Praise God, praise God. Give him glory, give him praise. The enemy is after your relationship, thus says the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody. The enemy is after your relationship with God. He will send anybody. He will distract you. He will try to do this. He will try to do that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to keep it simple. Keep it simple. You see my title, Stay Rooted and Grounded in God. I don't care because I'm going to tell you something. James chapter 1 says it all. Try to read that, you know, like at least once a month because it'll keep you rooted and grounded. So, so will Joshua chapter 1, the whole chapter. So, Joshua chapter 1 will keep you rooted and grounded and also James chapter 1 because notice what he says. It says that you are drawn away by your own desires. Come on somebody, hallelujah. Let me tell you something. The enemy knows how to dangle that carrot. He knows what you want. He knows how you want it. Y'all, y'all ain't ready for me tonight. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm trying to tell you. And the reason why I'm saying that is because he's after your anointing. He's after your relationship with God. So he'll send anything. He'll send false blessings. He'll send people. He'll send perpetrators. He'll send frauds. Come on, somebody. And, and to be honest with you, I call them close cuts. I feel like I'm teaching my class again because I, everything that I said, then I find myself saying now. I call them close cuts. What is close cuts? An enemy can't get close to you. But a person that's already close to you, you got to watch him. Yeah, I'm saying it like I'm saying it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to watch him. I'm not saying being paranoid. I'm not saying being ugly. But I I, I peep game. I'm just going to call it. And if you start switching up, let me tell you something. And I don't know why God got me going here, but I'm going here. When somebody love you, they love you. Good, bad, happy, sad, get in an argument, y'all still love each other. When a person is fickle, oh, you better believe, I promise you, they fickle on purpose. Nobody flip-flop. Come on, somebody. Flip-flop people, they're they telling you the truth. They really don't like you, but they tolerate you. And it may be something you have. It may be the anointing. It may be just uh, uh, association. Because sometimes people tolerate you because of other people. Oh, I'm saying something tonight. Hallelujah. But I hear God saying, stay rooted and grounded. So many people are getting caught up in the spirit of attention, the spirit of money, the spirit of fame, the spirit of this, the spirit of that. Can I tell you something? And, and, and I'm going to be very transparent and I'm hit it hard tonight. If God came back today or tomorrow and hold on, I'm going to reiterate it. I've said this once or twice and I'm going to say it again. Every prophecy have been fulfilled. The only one that haven't been fulfilled is that the gospel have not been taught and preached all around the world. But what if? Because remember, not even Jesus knows, only God. If God was to come, I'm talking about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If he was to come today, tonight, at this moment, are you ready? Are you really ready? What has gotten in your, your way of God in you? Do you read your Bible? Because some of you, you know how we start and then you stop. And I just don't feel like reading. And that's one night, two night, whole week, a whole month passed by. Next thing you know, you ain't even picked up your Bible. When the last time have you spent time with God? When the last time have you, you spent time in prayer? And let me tell you what prayer is because I don't think a lot of people know what prayer is. Let me tell you what prayer is. You know what prayer is? Prayer is this. Go ahead. Pray to God. For about what 30 40 minutes, but listen for two to three hours, just meditate. Because guess what? Most people they pray, but they never listen, they never listen for a response. Is that God will? What does God want you to do? What does He say? Come on, somebody, hallelujah! A lot of people just pray and they go on, okay? God, you got my request, make it happen, Captain. Not even understanding if that's his will. Come on, somebody. Because there's two things. That's his permissive will and that's his will. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Permissive will meaning that he may allow you to do something, but that not that may not be his real will. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me tell you something. I'm saying this because this. Hallelujah. 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 I feel the power of God. So many people are falling away from God in this hour. This is truly the falling away. I'm seeing it. You see it. You're hearing it in the pulpit. They don't have the power of God like they used to. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about no perpetrating game. I'm not talking about no gift of gab. I'm not talking about getting on Facebook and, and I be seeing them. Because sometimes God will make me stop on, on ones that I know you follow. And I mean, they, I, I can see what they're doing. They, it's almost like a spirit. Oh, it is a spirit. It's like a spirit of manipulation. Because the more hearts they see, the, the more they go in, right? Or, 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 or if you start sowing into them, 
Don't y'all understand that's a form of witchcraft, Christian witchcraft? Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. If it is not the authentic power of God, it is witchcraft. I don't care what you say, how you say, when you say, what you say. Come back to God. God is simple. Yes, he is. He's dimensional, but he keeps it simple. God, I'm hearing all this stuff that's not biblical and people don't know biblical applications. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. People, half of half y'all don't know your Bible. Got to go right back, learn that Bible before they take them Bibles. I'm telling you what God say, people. And it's not to bash people. Remember my mandate is correction, but I get corrected first. And all God wants us to make it. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because whether they teach it or not, there's a real heaven and there's a real hell. Hallelujah to his name. And this generation, I don't know if you understand, this generation, you know what they're teaching? That people are gods. You know, they got a lot of false religion. They mix in pure with unpure. Oh, my God. Y'all got to understand what's really happening out here. And another thing, Christians, you should not be so easily offended. If you find yourself getting mad like that, then you need to check yourself. Because you always want to check somebody else. But examine yourself, said the Lord. Because remember, the foundation of God is love. I'm not saying not be angry because he says, be angry, but sin not. Let me not go too far. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. How you doing, Joanna? God bless you, my baby. Miss you. So just be mindful of the way you treat people. Be mindful of what you do. Be mindful of what you say. The clock's ticking. And I'm going to tell you right now. It ain't going to be long. I don't know when. But the world is changing. And it's all going to come to an end. So, so all that working, all that getting stuff, houses, cars. I'm not saying, hey, do you. But at the end of that thing, I'm going to leave you with this. What if Jesus come today, right now? Are you ready? Have you done everything that God told you to do? Oh, come on, somebody. Don't play with me now. Because you know how we like to live our lives. But have you done your assignment? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. What is your assignment? Do you even know what it is? Oh, come on, somebody. Because there's a difference between working a job. Oh, I, I don't have time to break that thing down like that. But there's a difference. God never gave you a job. He gave you a work to do, which is your assignment. Hallelujah. That job, you'll get fired there tomorrow, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus because I don't want nobody to say, oh, she, she wishing. No, no, no. Because one day, if you truly call, your work going to collide with your job. Y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This stuff real. So God bless you. God keep you. I just wanted to get up on here. Um, I wish I had the link, but I do not have the link. I will be on television in the morning. Um, early in the morning, about 6.40, 7 o'clock, um, showing my spices. Um, I'm going to try to put the link on tonight. Um, yeah, and so if you can, you can tune in. So um, God bless you. God keep you. I love you through Christ. Stay strong. Stay strong. Stay rooted. Stay grounded. Walk in love, people. Walk in love. I'm telling you. See when that when that door slam? And one day it will. I just pray that we all see each other in heaven. Hello. Come on, somebody. That stuff real. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. Good evening, Megan. Praise God. Good evening to all of you. Oh, I don't want to finish. What is wrong?